It's time for Roses and Rosé. Oh my gosh, The Bachelor premiered! You guys, first Roses and Rosé of the season, and I can't even have Rosé because I'm sick. But I am doped up on a lot of meds, so pretty much the same. I am ill, but The Bachelor is alive and well. Nick Vile, here to please, here to steam, here for all of us to get some Nick. That's right, the episode started out with a montage of Nick shirtless running through chilly Chicago, and we even got a shower shot. Dang! Nick did promise us that this season would get steamy, and it literally did. It's a shower thing. So Nick acknowledged that yes, it's a little weird, he's the bachelor, and uh, my favorite part, he acknowledged that he mumbles. What you know for? Yeah, I'm with you, that's all I do. Yeah, you're here for? I love being next to you. Thank you, Nick. Speak up. Then we recapped the heartbreak and realized how incredible incredibly different Nick used to look when he was on Andy and Caitlyn's seasons. Pro tip, grow a beard, do some push-ups, and you're gonna be The Bachelor. Then we meet the ladies, but I'm only gonna go for my favorites because there's so many and we're gonna lose a lot of them at the end of this episode. Let's meet Rachel. Rachel is a 31-year-old attorney from Dallas. Here's why I love her. Well-spoken, gorgeous, old enough for Nick. Here's why I'm questioning her. What is this vacuum? Rachel, girl, you're an attorney, you're making money. You're gonna dance around your living room, maybe get a vacuum that wasn't invented in 1975. It's okay, she'll learn how to be on camera. Then we had Danielle. Danielle is 27 and owns three nail salons. From everything Nick has told ET exclusively, he needs a confident lady, and again, I think Danielle has her stuff together. Then we meet the Italian Vanessa Grimaldi. I don't know what that accent was, German-Italian. Um, she says Italian-Italian, so what we're already learning from Vanessa is, we're all saying it wrong, I guess, but gorgeous, accomplished, studious, yes, just what Nick needs, he's 36. But again, Nick promised us a steamy season, so we gotta have some steamy girls, and they are Corinne and Liz. First we meet Corinne, who runs a multi-million dollar company by writing emails and making phone calls, and still lives with a nanny. Okay, Corinne gets very sexual later in the episode, we'll get to it. And then we meet Liz, who acknowledges that she had a one night stand with Nick at Jade and Tanner's wedding last January, but she wouldn't allow him to get her number and she never contacted him again. Dang, Liz doesn't even think Nick's gonna remember her. Sounds like a night. <laughs> okay. And last we have the girl in a dolphin shark costume whose name I don't remember, but she was hilarious. Yes, her entrance was her literally wearing a shark costume, which she called a dolphin costume, and she said she's an aspiring dolphin trainer, and she made this amazing pun. I definitely can't wait to talk to you more inside. What I liked about it, too, was that the other ladies were really supportive of her hilariosity. For a show that's so much about catfights, it's nice to see some friendships <laughs> on the first night. Except, of course, for Corinne, who had some trash talk to make, which indicates to me she's probably gonna be our villain. Okay. So whatever Dolphin Girl's name is, I mean, she took this to the max. She went in the pool, and Nick made this a very funny comment. I have a, a shark. She thinks she's a dolphin. That's a concern. So, so far, funny, steamy, I love it. And then Liz and Nick acknowledge their past, and Nick is a little harsh. I was actually in the freezing cold at a Bachelor premiere watch party last night, which might be in part why I'm ill, and talked to Jade, who was Liz's good friend, Liz was her maid of honor, and Jade said she wishes Nick had treated her better. So Nick didn't take that very well. In fact, he like literally left the conversation. All right, rose time. Rachel gets the first impression rose. Yes, good choice. Vanessa gets the first rose. Yes, good choice. And these choices often indicate who Nick will end up having a serious connection with. First impressions, everything, right? Not for Nick. Fourth time's the charm. And Liz, bum bum bum, gets the last rose. He snuck her in. He made her pay. He still gave her a rose. We need the drama. What am I doing? And Corinne got a rose too, and Oh my God, remember I said Corinne was gonna get sexual? Well, she really, really, really did in the sneak peek for the whole season. I'm going to have sex with them. It's just gonna be magical. My heart is gold, but my vagine is platinum. Platinum, interesting. I don't know my gemstones very well. Should it have been diamond? Is platinum better than gold? Whatever. Guys, we will be here recapping The Bachelor every week and I promise I will have some actual rosé ASAP because I need it like I need an IV of vitamin C right now. Please subscribe to ET's YouTube channel. Check out etonline.com. Like us on Facebook where we have lots of Bachelor alumni interviews and follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram if you want.